Hello and welcome back to another M40 Military video. Today's video is about US DCU or Desert Combat Uniform. Now I recently got my hands on one of these when I was over in the US in Kaufman's Army and Navy Surplus Store in New York. Luckily I was given a really nice one, lots of badges, high ranking soldier, so I thought I'd make a video on it. DCU is an arid environment camouflage uniform that was used by the United States Armed Forces from the mid 90s to the early 2010s. It replaced the previous DB. DU, Desert Battle Dress Uniform, which featured a six color chocolate chip camouflage. Developed in the late 1980s and first issued in very limited quantities as an experimental test pattern in the 1990s. It features a three color desert camouflage pattern of dark brown, pale olive green and beige. In terms of the pattern and textile cut, it is identical to the US Military Battle Dress Uniform, or BDU. As I mentioned previously, it was developed to replace DBDU, which was the chocolate chip camouflage I was talking about earlier, which was deemed unsuitable for most desert theatres of the time. Though DCU did exist during the Persian Gulf War, the vast majority of US military personnel in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Iraq wore DBDU during the entire war, with the exception of some US Army generals who were issued the DCU a month following their air campaign in Operation Desert Storm. By 1992, the first wide-scale batches of DCU were issued to the United States Army and the United States Air Force, and replaced the majority of DBDU by 1993, with the US Navy and the Marines replacing the older six-colored desert fatigues in 1993 to 1995. This camouflage is still used today. As you can see on the screen, these are the countries that still use them today. And now coming up on the screen is the countries that formerly used them in the past. This camouflage saw use during many wars, including the Gulf War, War in Afghanistan, and the Iraq War, just to mention a few. Now on to what I think of the uniform. Personally, apart from chocolate chip, I think this is definitely my favorite desert uniform. It's it's really comfy, lightweight, durable, and it's got quite a few pockets on it so you can store things. It also has a little bit more fabric on the elbows for when you're lying down or getting up or anything like that. I also really like mine because mine's got a lot of history behind it with all the badges and the man who used to wear it, which I did some research on and I will tell you more about later on. Luckily for anyone who wants to get into surplus, these camouflages are are uh, only just being surplus now because I mean they were only taken out of service five ten years ago which means they're cheap they're everywhere and you can get your hands on them really easily now I did my research on the man who wore this Lieutenant Colonel James D Hoyman at the time of him wearing the shirt he was a captain and the badges on his shirt say that he would have been in the 130th engineer brigade and also on the collar he has a 94th engineer battalion patch. Now he was stationed in Germany, but I doubt he would have been wearing this camouflage whilst he was in Germany. However, the times that I think he would have been wearing this camouflage is when he was deployed to Kuwait as a logistics officer. He was also deployed to Iraq for the first year of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Following the 2003 deployment, he transitioned to the 94th engineer battalion where he took command of Alpha Company. He commanded the company through the one-year deployment of Mosul, Iraq in 2005. If you want to see the rest of his documents, I will link them in the description below. You can basically read through all of his deployments and everything like that, but that was basically the only stuff that really mattered for this camouflage. In summary, it is a great piece of surplus to collect. They're cheap, they're everywhere, they're fairly modern, they've always got lots of patches on them, they're really comfy, you can wear them out. I, In general, I just really like it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. All my social medias are linked in the description, along with the sources and the documents for this man are also linked in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. What do you want to see next? What did you think of the video? And please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.